So yes, this Sonoff Wireless Smart Switch may be a very simple, universal and cost-effective device that you can add to your smart home, but if you have never used one of these Sonoff Smart Switches before, then you will also be unaware of how it works and just how much you can actually do with it. Using it to do things such as open your smart window, or your smart door, or to simply just turn the lights on and off in your room. It's just the beginning. Wait till you see what else you can do with the turn off smart switch. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button because that's what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Sonoff Smart Wireless Switch. I personally always call these a smart button, so that's what I'm going to be calling it for the rest of the review. So, this smart button is what Sonoff call their SNZB01P model. Take note of the letter P on the end because that means it's the later and more improved model than the previous SNZB01. It's controlled using the Zigbee protocol, so you will need a gateway hub to use it. Something such as this little Sonoff Zigbee gateway, which they refer to as a bridge. This is a simple yet very useful little device. And because it's battery powered, it's also portable, so you can carry it around with you in your pocket if you want to throughout your smart home. The back of this device is magnetic, and it's also supplied with a metal base that you can attach to anywhere using the screw or double-sided tape and then the button just magnetically attaches to it so it's quick and easy to remove as I mentioned before it's battery powered and it uses a CR24773 volt battery and the battery life is apparently supposed to be approximately five years which is very impressive and also good because that's not a common battery you can easily find in most shops yet it also comes supplied with some stickers as well which you can use to label the button if you need to. This is especially useful if you have multiple buttons in use. The size of the device is nice and small as well at 45 by 45 by 18. This little button here on the side is used for pairing it to the app and to put it into pairing mode it's just like most other smart devices just hold the button down for five seconds. And speaking of apps, Sonoff use the Ewe Link app but of course you will need to remember to add the Sonoff bridge first before you add the smart button to the app. It's compatible with Alexa, Google, SmartThings and other platforms as well. But I'll be using Alexa for today's demonstration. I've been testing the smart button out for several days now and it's been very reliable. It's also very affordable to buy as well. It only costs $18 but of course the gateway you also need to be able to use it will be an extra cost if you don't already have one. Before experimenting with this smart button from Sonoff I have up until then been using this smart button here from Tuya and it's been great but the only downside to it is it's not compatible with Alexa or Google. It does however have this rotational knob built into the top of it which the Sonoff button here does not have. So just like all these smart buttons and switches this one can also be controlled manually in three different ways which are by a single press, a double press or a long press which means holding the button down for approximately three seconds. So yes, while it only has one button, it can be used to perform three different functions. And in today's video, I will be demonstrating this to you, so you can see exactly how it works. This turn off button could be used to control many other smart devices inside your smart home. Or it could also be used as a wireless doorbell or emergency button as well or for any other applications just like that. So now it's time to do exactly that and put the smart little button to the test using my smart office. So it's time to have some fun and set up some automations using Alexa. Okay, so to start off with, I could use this sort of button for just real simple things around the house, such as a fast way to open and close the curtains. So if I click the button once, the curtains will close. If I click it twice, they will open again. And then 
if I long press it, I could get the LED strip that goes around my door frame to turn on. I could also set it up so if I press it once, my blinds will close. Then, if I press it twice, my door will close. And because now it's dark in here, if I hold it down and press it for three seconds, the lights will turn on. Of course, if I was having a really lazy day, I could even set it up to do things that you don't need a smart button to do. So, I could set it up so if I press it once, the phone charger would turn on. If I press it twice, my smart trash bin could open. And if I hold it down for three seconds, I could get the TV to turn on. Okay, so maybe those last three routines were for really lazy days, but it seriously can make a fantastic doorbell. Look what happens when I press the button. Attention, there is somebody at the door and they just pressed the doorbell button. Oh, okay, thanks Alexa. And of course, if you have a smart controlled garage door, it also makes a great garage door opener and closer. You can mount it anywhere inside the car, for example, like here on the dashboard, just press it once and the garage door will open. And press it twice. And the garage door will close. Okay, so I think everyone now understands what it can be used for. So that's how this Sonoff SNZB01 wireless Zigbee switch works. As you have seen, it can be used to do many different things, and it's a very useful device to have. You can put these smart buttons all around your smart home and use them as a faster way to control everything. I do like the magnetic base idea, that's very convenient, and it also allows you to mount the smart button on the roof as well, which may be useful in certain applications. To me, reliability is important, and so far this device has not failed to work for me when I have needed to use it. So I'm going to keep it in my smart home for a lot longer yet. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of another video. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or found it helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.